Hey guys, Lights Fans and More here, and today I'm gonna share something ultimate with you. Something that I think you guys are gonna really, really love. So, it all comes from my science class at seventh grade today. And what we did in science class was we learned about light energy. And what we used is we actually used plasma balls. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And also, what we did for another experiment was we used, like, have you guys, like, you guys probably have heard of glow sticks. Like, have you ever guys used glow sticks before? Well, normally you don't get to see, like, what's causing the glow sticks to light up. Like, how does it light up when you crack it? And that's what we're going to be showing you in this vid, in this in this quick explaining video so when we so my science teacher cut open the cover cap that the cap that covers the the glow sticks so the water so the liquid doesn't come out and what's inside of it is hydrogen peroxide and inside the hydrogen peroxide there's a special glass tube with the glowing powder and that's what shows you the color when the thing is not illuminated. So, what it is, it's, it's a glass tube that breaks aches. So when you crack it, so when you so when you crack the glow stick, the glass breaks and then it lets the 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 glowing powder out and then gets and then once it's in contact with the hydrogen peroxide it now causes the light to grow. Ta-da! And it's really, really cool. We used, and we used some beakers with this as well, so you could see that. But one more thing I want to tell you is that, is that another experiment that we used is we took, is we took three different kinds of temperatures of water. We have one one glass of water or on, on 38 degrees Fahrenheit, another one at at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and one at 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And we dropped the glow sticks in there to see like what happens. How is it to see like what happens? Like what's gonna happen with what's gonna happen to the glow sticks like when it is in contact with other or different temperatures of water. So, with the so with the so the cold one and the room temperature one, those were actually all dimmer, or or, or got a lot got a little bit dimmed, but the hot water one was very very brighter. Or, yeah, that's pretty interesting. So I think the reason why it's why the hot one is brighter is because. The, the hydrogen peroxide is probably hot as well, which probably distributes the light well. And I think maybe if it is in contact with more hot surface, this can cause the glow powder to get even more brighter. That's in my opinion. I don't know what, what really happens, but yep. So this concludes this little video on what I did in science today. I hope you found this little video interesting and knowing like what it happens and everything. So yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching. Lights out.